Chip burns like a mother trucker, dude. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So what you guys saw from last video was we were having some problems with the cluster So I went out and bought a new one and then we just put the bulbs in and it looks so good Like look at this blue white red. I think that looks so cool red white blue baby Merc. So if you haven't seen the last video we got the dash in and it looks really good And then we put the carpet and got the cluster to work and I got the sound ending done explain to you guys what we're doing with this did I no. no okay so I want everything to like match inside there so I can't just have like the tan color so what I decided that we should do is we're gonna dye it so this thing's in pretty gross condition like it's actually disgusting I think a lot of it is just like leftover like over spray from like the flock I don't know would you call it overspray yeah, that's just flock. yeah like there's just flock on it so we're just gonna try and vacuum it and try and get some like Try and get all of this off, but whatever we don't get off, it should just hide behind the dye. I got this stuff right here, and it is most vinyl surfaces, flexible and rigid plastics, and carpet, and velour. Velour? Velour? You've heard of that? Yeah. Okay, so, but yeah, so, it's just black, and you spray it on, it's just like spray paint, but it's like meant for like this stuff right here, and carpet, and if it does trim pieces, like, you might as well. That's before, and this is after. Okay, so one thing Harinder told me that you should do, if you guys are gonna try this at home, is kinda like use your hand and brush it all one way, because like it has like little fibers or whatever. I don't know if it's as obvious on this, but like if... Oh yeah, you can kinda, camera won't be able to pick it up. If you, like you paint it and they're mismatched, and it's, you'll, you'll see the color being different. Just make sure it's all one way. Yeah, you'll be able to see that the fabric isn't all, all in the same way. line. I guess. Okay, ready? Yeah. It's cold when it's doing a very light coat. Okay, so since it's so cold in here, we just gotta do multiple coats just so the paint like sticks to it better and like dries nicely. But we gotta do like five or six more coats. You can already tell like that one stroke lo already looks way better. Brad, you got fucking pizza crumbs in it. Small facts. What is that? This oh. dude, this dude got pizza in his headliner. Okay, so Herinder's working on getting the steering column all done up. What I'm gonna do is I got the rear seat and like the back cushion part and then I'm just gonna clean them off because they're disgusting and I'll put them in. Look how much better this already looks. Like now that it actually has seats and like got the plastics in the back, it like it transformed the interior so much. What I'm gonna work on right here is there's a whole bunch of like brown little marks there. There, there, and just all around. So I just cleaned it and then I'm gonna spray it with some dye or just some like plastic paint just to make the interior all like somewhat the same color. But the headliner's still drying over there before we can put it up. But we're basically done in here, eh? I'm in love with that. I really am. Either like Smirnoff or like the American flag. I'm blown away with how good this has turned out so far. Like the seats don't really match anything else, but like there's not a whole lot you can do, but like just the interior panels and like the seats just being in the car. As soon as we get the seats in here, we'll be ready to go. Except what's it hiding in that box? So it's been a few days since I filmed the last video and that's just because we've been doing something big. And by the time you're watching this, like most of you already know what I'm talking about. For the people that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm not gonna spoil it. So, so for the remainder of this video, if I'm gonna be talking, it's just gonna be against this white wall. Okay, so I got the seat installed and I had to ghetto rig the fuel pump button on just so I could drive it. 
to its new location. But other than that, I haven't done anything. What we just gotta finish up doing is put the center console in and drill some new holes into it for the switches. Ooh, did it just... Okay, we're smoking. That is a hot wire. Like hot, hot? Hot, hot. We're just gonna leave the wires sticking through. We got these two gauges. I don't know why I keep calling it gauges, they're switches. But we got those two switches going right through and then when I buy a new one, I'll just push that one right back in. But this thing looks really good. I need to get like some sort of screen right there and then just need like the shift boot for right in this area. And I also wanna get like one of those nice little gauge pods. And we're basically gonna be done the interior. And you know what that means. What's after the interior? Blow the motor up. This interior looks absolutely unreal. Yeah, so I'm not gonna worry about all this stuff hanging because I will get to that eventually, but holy man, does this look unreal. I'm just staring at my car right now and like I'm blown away with how much progress this came. I wish I documented it the way I have been like now and like, and like I wish you guys could have seen like what this thing really looked like from the beginning and I'm so happy with how everything's going right now. Like to me, I think the interior is done. Like yeah, there's like a few small things that we gotta do, but like, I'm really happy with it. Now all we just gotta do is the body. But I wanna give a big shout out to everybody that's been telling people to subscribe to me and for people that have been watching, liking, and all that other stuff. So the next video that I'm doing is gonna be an absolute banger because I get to show you like all of this and it sucks that I can't do it right now like as much as it really limits what I can film. So the next video I promise will be really good because number one, I get to show you what I'm in and number two, I get to show you what we're doing next to the car and I know you guys are gonna love it. So if you're still watching the video, make sure you're subscribed and then click on the description and you'll find my Instagram and my Facebook, so do that. Thank you for watching and see you later.